Hello comrades, you are watching Red Ivan Military and today we'll discuss new Russian prospective uniform and equipment introduced by Triada TKO at the Army 2024 exhibition. A big shout out to my friend Ivan Savin from Военный Обзор and my comrades from KMP Bobek channel. Without their support, this video would not be possible. Those of you who watched my video about Russian multicam know that based on the feedback from the troops during the initial stage of the war, three companies developed experimental uniform sets VKPO 2.0, 3.0 and 4.0, which were supplied to the troops starting from April 2023. VKPO 3.0 was developed and produced by Triada TKO. In August 2023, based on feedback on the original design, a new generation of VKPO 3.0 was released. Many comrades were upset that Russia was moving to multicam, abandoning EMR pattern. However, in reality, EMR was never intended to be abandoned. The appearance of VKPO 3.0 in EMR pattern at the Victory Day Parade in 2024 proves this and also indicates that VKPO 3.0 from Triada became a favorite. So what were the reasons behind the adoption of Multicam? First, special forces wanted it. Secondly, its effectiveness in Ukrainian terrain. And also, MOD needed to produce a ton of different suits as soon as possible. Therefore, a fabric in the selected pattern should be readily accessible. Now once things settled down, it was decided that suits in EMR will be used on the Russian mainland, while troops in the conflict zone will be issued with multicam. However, the Ministry of Defense had certain comments on the set, leading to development of VKPO 3.1. Changes to the jacket mostly related to the army routine. Addition of velcro panels for buttonholes on the jacket. Jacket now fastened with buttons. The panel for duty beige was added. Chest pockets with horizontal asses and velcro closure. No changes were made to the combat shirt. Summer field pants cut was unified with a demi-season suit. Loops for suspenders were added. Near reinforcements were enlarged. The number of the knee pad adjustment straps was reduced from 4 to 2. Cut of the wind water resistant jacket was unified with demi season and cold weather jackets. Actually, there are more updates and unifications, but we won't dwell on this suit. What you need to know is that VKPO 3.1 is an updated version of the VKPO 3.0 with more unified layers and was developed in the close contact with the Ministry of Defense. These suits will be supplied to the troops soon and produced by multiple companies including BTK Group. But Triada TKO wouldn't be Triada TKO if they didn't push forward and take an extra step. While the army is receiving VKPO 3.1 they are already presenting VKPO 3.2 with updated sets and a new camouflage pattern. Based on the EMR, Triada developed a new pattern family called EMR-M, which is unified enough to be easily printed. EMR-M-A for Arctic conditions, EMR-M-P Pustinny for arid and desert environments, and the standard EMR-M for common woodland terrains. The suit itself was modified to combine the demi-season suit with the summer suit, making it more economically advantageous. Besides VKPO 3.2, additional special suit for armored vehicle crews and other new equipment was demonstrated, as well as modular sleeping system. New body armor was also showcased by Triada including new helmet made of UHMWP and new MRS 2.0 system with a new set of pouches. Some of you probably know that starting from 2023, the modular body armor system KBS Strelok is being supplied to selected Russian units 
in limited numbers. A new MRS 2.0 is a modular system that can be used as a load bearing vest when the front plate cover is folded. Notice this plastic panel made of Tigris material in the load bearing vest configuration. To convert this LBV to a body armor vest, you need to unfold the front plate cover, install the back plate cover and add side body armor elements. This system alone can replace three standalone systems LBV such as 6SHA-117, 6B-46 system and the Russian general issue body armor vest. The MRS is actually based on the earlier development by Triada TKO for the special units of the Federal Guard Service, which explains the focus on the concealability. As on both stands, they highlight that the vest can be carried concealed and there is a conceal carry solution for equipment demonstrated as well. For ground troops, the ability to conceal the vest is less relevant, but it probably helps with sales to different agencies. Additional modules can be added to this system for enhanced load distribution and protection including neck modules, groin protection, additional side protective modules on top of what we already discussed, shoulder and hip protection and the combat belt with telescopic supports. A new set of pouches is also available for the vest. The new helmet is the result of Triada's collaboration with a company called Marlit. It provides BR2 level protection and is made of UHM WP, weighting between 12 and 1300 grams. It is available in different sizes and cuts, this one being a mid cut. It is equipped with the headphones mounts and night vision mount bracket with a single mounting point and the reinforcement plate made of Tigris. The helmet features an updated suspension system. Unification efforts have also resulted in replacing three different backpacks with one modular solution. Well, with two. There is a patrol backpack with an adjustable volume ranging from 15 to 30 liters. Additionally, this patrol backpack can be mounted on the raid backpack, now working as a flap. Economics plays a crucial role in winning wars and it appears that Triada understands this concept extremely well, finding balance between modularity and unification in their equipment. I hope you like this video, subscribe to my channel, put like, comment, share this video with your friends. If you want to help channel financially, links are in the description. Now we also have YouTube subscription available for us and see you next time.